Welcome once again to my introduction to Saril. Let's talk about multi-part actions and focusing. When we left the group they found a treasury looking treasure chest, but it was locked and more ghouls were on their way. <coughs> this looks bad. The good news is that Sneaky Beaky, that's this guy, is pretty good at lockpicking. Bad news is, this is a six pin lock of easy difficulty. Pause, you might be wondering what on earth that means. Well, most locks have a number of pins. So to pick them, those pins need to be pushed up into the correct position and held in place. This lock has six of those pins, but each of those pins is relatively easy to access and move to the correct place. So in game terms, Sneaky Beaky is going to have to roll a four a total of six times in order to unlock this chest. That will take him a minimum of two moments to complete. But the chances of rolling that... Well, they're less than one in 50. So let's just see how this pans out. The moment begins. Four ghouls try to enter the room, but Beaky Boss and Beaky Bob move to block the doorway. Beaky Boss starts shooting, of course, and a Sneaky Beaky rushes to unlock the chest. Sneaky Beaky has a skill of three in lockpicking, so he rolls three dice. Bad luck. None of them are four or above, so he makes no progress. Meanwhile, the fighting continues. One girl was killed, but in the next moment, another three will join the fight. At least the choke point held. The second moment begins. Amid the furious fighting, Sneaky Beaky decides to slow down and focus. He has a skill of three, but this time he only rolls two dice. He holds the third dice back. This adds a plus one to all of the other dice he rolls, so now he only needs to roll a three. Bingo, two pins down. Focusing can be done in any action. Remember back in session one? When I posed the question, why did Beaky Boss only roll two dice? He was focusing for a better chance to hit and do more damage. Sneaky Beaky quickly looks over his shoulder. Another two kills are down. But two others have managed to get close to Beaky Boss. And in the next moment, another four ghouls are going to be able to fight. Oh dear. The third moment begins. Sneaky Beaky doesn't want to risk failure. He holds two dice back this time. So now he just needs to roll a two or more. And he does. Three pins down. The fight is going badly though. Two more ghouls went down. But the choke point is broken. And Beaky Bo is out of arrows. Another three ghouls are going to join the fight in the next moment as well. The fourth moment begins. It's now or never. Sneaky Beaky rolls three dice this time, and sometimes you get lucky. All the dice are four and above, and the last three pins click into place. The treasure box pops open. This is it, the item they were looking for. He squawks his success. <coughs> Ghouls are flooding into the room now. The Beaky boys are tired and can't fight much longer, but they don't have to. Beaky Boss calls the retreat. Squaw! Sneaky Beaky snatches up the strange orb and the Beaky Boys make a run for it. Quest complete. Hrumph. I'm sure some of you are super glad that the Beaky Boys all made it out with their beaks still intact. Others of you might be wondering about the many, many things that I didn't explicitly cover in these tutorials, such as what about getting tired? What about spells? Grappling, diseases, and movement? Well, tiredness is caused by stamina being drained slowly through exertion, normally one per moment. Spells are normally multi-part actions, just like lockpicking. Grappling is also a multi-part action. Diseases are types of condition. And movement, whether working with squares, hexes, or theatre of the mind, is simple and especially fun because you don't necessarily get to move to where you intended. The real answer is, I'll probably do more tutorials if the Kickstarter is successful enough. And that will likely involve making more Beaky Boys during the next part of the quest, including Beaky Bold, Beaky Besh, and Beaky Boom! Each covering some fancy pants stuff in the Saril system that I haven't even mentioned yet. I really hope you're excited as I am. I'll put a link in the description once it becomes appropriate. But until then, bye for now.